Hey Javelinas, and thanks for tuning back into our YouTube channel for yet another episode of Interviews All Around Campus. <laughs> In today's episode, we're going to be talking to Mariana Correa, who's a civil engineering tutor at the PAC, and Sophia Jones, who's a peer mentor for the Center for Student Success. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Hey guys, my name is Mariana. I'm a civil engineering tutor for the PAC, and I came over here today to talk to y'all a little bit about everything that's been going on uh, and how that has been impacting our academic life. So the first thing they asked me to talk about was how y'all can still be able to have access to our tutoring sessions. So basically, you should have gotten an email with the receptionist email for the PAC. Uh, you're going to send them a message and they're going to schedule an appointment for you with a, with a specific tutor uh, and then they're going to give you a link to join a Blackboard Collaborate session. All you basically need is a computer. If you do have a computer with a microphone and a camera, that helps. But if you don't, uh, it's okay too. We're still going to be able to run through with the session. Uh, they also asked me what I like the most about being a tutor. Uh, I feel like just being able to impact my students' life in general. Sometimes students have a hard time asking questions in class uh, or just have a hard time with the subject itself or just don't know how to study for the subject. Uh, and just being able, you know, to help a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, in so many different ways, we can impact so many different lives. Uh, and just being able to see my students succeed, uh, that's what I like the most about my job. Um, they also asked me to give y'all three tips on how to keep going even though everything that is going on right now. Um, mainly what I would say is just try to keep up with your routine that you had before. So if you had class at 9 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, I would probably try to sit down at 9 a.m., uh, try to go through your subject uh, material. So if your professor is posting videos or if they're sending out you know, PowerPoint slides or something like that. Just try to study that for 15 minutes as if you were in class. Um, also, maybe do a to-do list. That's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, it's just basically write down all activities that you have for that day. Uh, be realistic. Don't put a lot of stuff down that you think that you're not going to be able to go through. But just kind of being able to check things out uh, just motivates me a lot. Um, also, Try not to procrastinate, I know it's hard, we're also going to be home uh, for the whole time, so I know it's not easy, but just being able to sit down in the afternoon, try to go through your school material, don't let things accumulate, we're still going to have exams and quizzes and everything like that, uh, so basically, as much as you can, try to keep up with the routine uh, and be focused, because everything's going to be okay, it's going to be harder than usual, but Anyways, it's gonna work out. So I hope y'all are safe and have a good uh, rest of the semester. And if you need any help, you can contact the PAC and we're gonna help you as much as we can. Hi, my name is Sophia Jones and I'm a biology student and a peer mentor at Texas A&M University Kingsville. We have been transferred to online classes this semester and this can be extremely difficult. So I have a few tips and tricks that I've been using that have helped me. So first, I would highly suggest everyone get a planner. This is the best investment that you will make this semester because it just allows you to keep all of your assignments and all of your exams and quizzes in one place so you know exactly what you're working with. Blackboard can be extremely hard to navigate, so I think that it's a great idea to get the syllabus at the beginning of the semester or at this point in the semester and put all of your assignments, all of your quizzes and exams in your planner that way you can access them at any time so when you're sitting down at the beginning of the week you know what you need to prioritize and what order you need to go in and when things are due and it's all in one place second I would suggest that everyone stay on schedule it is really easy to kind of let time slip by so I highly suggest getting up in the morning doing a workout eating breakfast and then sitting down and starting your day the next thing that I would suggest is that everyone uses their resources just because we are doing online classes, that does not mean that the resources that used to be available to us aren't anymore. We now have online tutoring and mentoring and we can use the, the Writing Center online. So I highly suggest that everyone take advantage of that and pay attention to your email so you know exactly what is available so that you can access it and use it to your benefit. It is especially difficult 
social distancing and staying at home, but this is important because it slows the spread of the virus and we don't know too much about it right now, so we wanna contain it in the best capacity possible. And also, use this time to your advantage. You are home, so for me, during the school year, I'm usually so busy, I just let little house chores or little things that I need to do around the house just slip away. So I've used this time to catch up on that and to put everything in order and also to catch up on my favorite shows and to do things Take time for me and do things that make me happy because I mean now I can fit it into my schedule. So I hope that everyone stays safe and healthy throughout the rest of this semester and that these tips help. Thanks. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Temuk underscore CFSS and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we'll be posting informational videos throughout the rest of the spring semester. If you have any questions at all, feel free to tweet at us or leave a comment below. We hope to hear from you soon and stay healthy, Havelinas. Bye.